Hello, everybody. I'm Flynn. Welcome to Adobe Live. What's up, Jesse? I got you catching, caught, caught you eating breakfast. How are you, man? <laughs> We're live. I'm pretty good. How you doing? Yeah, really good. Thank I was you. not eating this banana. I was, I was doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you. Great to see you. Um, it's really good to have you on here on Adobe Live. It's been ages since we've done an Adobe Live together. So long um, that it was way in the before times when we were physically hanging out. I think both times you did an Adobe Live with exactly. us, you came in covered like head to toe in paint. That sounds about right, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, you do I'm a lot of murals paint, and everything. So. Often when you're in Sydney, yeah, you're doing murals and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's great to, great to have you on. We've got, um, got a couple of episodes that we're going to do together, which is going to be awesome. Um, Hey, Hey everybody in chat as well. Um, who we got RB's in the house. That's great. Great to see you. Johanna as well. Judy Steele is in there saying, Jezri, your graphics look great. Um, Amanda's here. Um, that's awesome. Uh, so we're live on behance.net slash live. Um, we're also live on YouTube. If you're watching over there and you want to join in the chat, come over to Behance, say hello, let us know how you're going. I'm going to bring up our schedule for the week because we've got lots of awesome stuff coming at you. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday stream. So here we are, interactive illustration with Jessery, which we're going to get started in just a sec. And then tomorrow we've got our final in a series of getting started in 3D with Alan Hunt. So don't miss that. Then on Thursday, we have Yori coming back for her second part of illustration. It was fantastic last week. So definitely come and check that out. And then on Friday, one of our favorites, Ramez Harry, Shik uh, Harry Krishna Sammy uh, with some more photo manipulation. So there's heaps of stuff going on this week. We hope you can join us for some, if not all of that. Um, and yeah, uh, Melanie also in, in the chat. So great to see you. Yes, hello. Uh, B says hi to you, Jessery, as well. Um, so since it's, since it's been a while since you've been on, I think it would be really cool to check out uh, some of your work before we get started, just so we can familiarize ourselves um, with all of the work you do. So I've got, um, look how professional I am. What do you got for me? What do you I've got for got, me? I've got your work <laughs> ready to roll. Um, let's Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, because you're going to be using Photoshop on the iPad. So I thought it would be better if I just brought everything up on my side. Hey, let's get some tunes. Let's get some tunes. All right. You got um, any Metallica? We were chatting about we can't afford we can't afford Metallica. Um, I've got some, <laughs> got some I got some chill hop, which is totally legit to play. Um, but yeah, um, it was really funny. I was like, should we bring up your Instagram? You're like, it's just going to be like memes if you bring up my Instagram. Um, but yeah, let's check yep. out some of your yep. work. Heaps of mural, heaps of mural work you do. I'll I'll shut up. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. No, I like I like you putting me over. You're like, you're like my mean Gene Oakland. Um, <laughs> Just give me the best intros. Um, the best. <laughs> now make his way to the ring. Um, yeah, I, I'm a, so if anyone who doesn't know me, I'm a mural artist and illustrator from Melbourne. I'm originally from Sydney, um, but I migrated like the virus. Um, so if <laughs> so, I guess on my socials and stuff, you could probably see a large collection of um, my mural work and um, my large scale paintings. So yeah, this one is, uh, that's in Collingwood. It's on here. That's, um, yeah, that's the one I'm most recent, not the most recent painting, yeah. Um, I call that one Family Feud. <laughs> <laughs> um, so most of, my, most of my stuff has meaning. Um, and I guess I come from an illustration and design background. So I guess you can see most of that fairly inspired into my work, I guess. Um, yeah, I think what you see is what you get. Really, I'm a bit of like, bit of a go-getter. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's bring um, up your website. We were chatting about this. We're like, what's one project that we, that people will probably want to know about? And you were telling us about. You were telling me about this um, Converse collaboration. So do you want yeah. to tell everyone about? Oh that? man, I'm. Just, yeah, I still pinch myself for the fact that I got to do this. Um, so this project's still up. If anyone wants to check it out, it's um, in Melbourne Emporium. And so basically I got to work with um, a bunch of legends from Converse X and they helped me come up with a concept and we, they helped me execute it. Mm. So basically um, the idea is that birds of, a feather, birds of a feather flock together. So I've always seen like this, pro I've always seen Converse as like a, like a band of misfits and I wanted to like just really conduct that, I guess. I don't know. 
Um, I don't want to put put over the brand too much, but um, yeah, I just it's really cool to work with like people who are like minded and stuff, and we got to create something that I'm extremely proud of still, to be honest. Um, yeah, so it's like a I think maybe three meter tall cockatoo made entirely out of shoes. Right, and that's it up the so, top. So yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's kind of hard to get the scale from, from the photo. I didn't realize that they were all shoes. I thought that was a lot smaller. Wow! So it's like this huge thing. Hey, that's, ah, there you go. That's the the yeah, magic. It's an illusion. <laughs> it's an illusion. That's a, oh, there you go. There we you go. Can you, can scale, see, you can see the scale down. Kind of. Yeah. So I got to work, I got to run a workshop, but the day before with the with the members, the Converse X members, and we got to like that's how we come up with it. We came up with the idea, but yeah. Super proud of it. Very cool. Super proud of all my work, to be honest. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and we're having a look. I mean, like you've got you've got so much work up here, but we'll leave it to you guys to check out um, as we're going through. Like, yeah, like crazy amount of work. I got too much work. Physical, physical stuff, digital stuff. It's all over. Um, I do, we'll, I do we'll too chat. much, man. I can't keep up. <laughs> that's good. Keep them busy. Um, but I'll get that. Um, let's jump over here. We can get that out of the way and jump into what we're doing today. So we're going to be doing some inter interactive drawing. There you are with your banana again, dude. You can eat a banana while you're going. It's totally fine. Let's <laughs> do good. it. It's a healthy way. Challenge of, accepted. It's a healthy way to start the day. Um, but yeah, we're doing interactive drawing today, guys. So we're going to be taking um, your your suggestions as well um, in chat. Again, the chat we're using is um, over at be.net slash live. Um, we're here for a little bit this morning and um, Jesse, we were chatting about a theme. Let's jump over to your screen. So you're using Photoshop on the iPad. Um, we were chatting about am, a theme. Yeah. What's, the theme? What's the theme for today? <laughs> um, so you know when like you first discover the internet and like you, or even actually even on a late night when you start just going ham and finding everything and anything, it's like, oh, I should be doing something, but I'm now Google searching or YouTube searching um, pictures of rhinos and why they got their skin color. Right. Um, so I basically, I think the, the theme of today will be the internet. Yes. And so like the rabbit holes of the internet that you find yourself digging down. Um, so basically I just want people to send me random requests and let's see how they fit into whatever the hell I'm doing. Cool. Um, I think that's pretty much how my brain works anyway. Like I'll think of one thing and then I'll jump to the next yep. when I'm not ready. So, um, more than happy to, to let people's brains do the work for me. Cool. All right. So, so basically what we'll do, guys, is um, you may have seen interactive drawing here with us before. You can just throw your ideas in chat at any point. We'll kind of curate them. And then when Jesse's ready to move on to the next one, we'll sort of pick one and, and move on that way. So I'm trying to think of different rabbit holes that I've gone down. I'm trying to think of a comedian. There's this comedian who was talking about it and he's, um, he was saying... Um, you ever like sitting there at night and you've got all this work to do and you're like, oh man, Joe Pesci in Home Alone was really good. I wonder, I wonder if Joe <laughs> Pesci, I wonder what other films Joe Pesci has been in. And then like six <laughs> hours later, you're like learning everything about Joe Pesci. Um, I can't remember. Did what you know Joe Pesci is. started in 1960? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was his first movie? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I'm, yeah what, I'm the same, man. I'm the what, same. what rabbit holes have, have you guys gone down? Let's let's find that out. Big cats in Australia. Keel Tillman has suggested. <laughs> Big cats. Is Big cool. cats, like the the, the elusive um, Penrith panther. <laughs> oh man, hand, my hand's so shaky this morning. I think I had that much, like too much coffee. It's the banana. Just trying to trying to shake the, kicking in. I, I probably need another banana. This is like, I think it's the coffee me is giving me too much power. So now like my straight lines have become like, oh, look at that one. Look at that one. <laughs> so um, that's me trying to write my name. We can also ask questions as we're going along. So I'm super interested. So using um, Photoshop on the iPad, which I don't think the last time we were hanging out was even out. Like I don't think it was even a no. thing. Um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Like have you been using it for a while or have you been drawing on the iPad for a while? This is all new to me. I've like, I've, yeah, it's, it's new to me as well. I've like, I've dived deep the past week, just like giving myself a full in-depth, um, yeah, like experiment with it. And so far so good. Like it's, I think I like it a lot more, but a lot more than I do on the tablet on Photoshop. Yeah. I'm getting emails. Um, 
you want to turn, your, notifi- my, do you want to turn your notifications off? Let's do that. I'll jump back. I'll jump back over the screen just so you can do that. <laughs> yeah, you never know like what email is going to come through. Oh, honestly. It's danger. No, I'm, I, I've got it on Do Not Disturb, but I don't know how. If I, it's all right. We'll play it by ear. Hopefully play I get nothing. Ear. We'll play it by ear. I don't think I've got anything bad coming through. And who, who are but you that, But to right be fair, that, that, was, that was an email about knives. <laughs> um, drawing uh, Prince, the, the Prince. fabulous Prince. The um, I'm just doing a bit of a tracing, tracing session, like for now, while the requests come through. Um, but this is just like more so like how I conduct a lot of my portraits as well, because I think portraits, I don't like to leave it up to, to guessing it. I think it's always too hard if you do. Um, so I, I trace my portraits, but then I'll, um, I'll, I'll bump them up to large scale. Um, but yeah, to answer your question before, I, I think I like this a little bit more than the, um, the tablet. So the, the, uh, the drawing tablet and the Photoshop. Right. I think like the fact that I get to use my fingers a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. You could probably do that on the real one as well, but and what were you? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Like, were you using like a, a Cintiq or something where you were drawing on the screen, or were you using it? Uh, I can't remember the other Intuos. I think like the other one where it's yeah, like, bit mic more like first, a mouse replacement. Yeah, the first one I did with you guys was um was I just did it on a Wacom, yeah, and then the second one I jumped onto a Microsoft Surface. So I think this, every time I've I've chatted with you, I've had something different, something new. Um, Next next time, tune in next time as I draw in thin air. <laughs> that would be impressive. Um, George is asking, do you use custom brushes? Uh, honestly, I don't. No, I never have. Um, no need? No, it's, I don't think it's needed for what I do. Mm-hmm. Like, I've got, myself some, I've got myself some true grit brushes as well. Um, I like to play around with them, but I don't necessarily um, have them in my day-to-day practice. Um, but not to say they aren't good. Uh, I just don't need it. I use just the generic like go-to brush on this, and I just like taper off the edges mm. for pressure. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't really really feel the need to, to be honest. Mm. All natural. I like it. Um, we've got a bunch of suggestions in chat uh, from our question before. It's up to you. Should we when jump you over? Wanna, yeah, when you want to do that. Yeah, let's jump over. So um, I think Big Cats in Australia was the first one that came out. Um, so I think we should honor the first person who put their hand up because it's always, um, mm, always I feel good you. when someone I feel starts, you. starts getting the ball rolling. Big Cats. Big Cats. Do you, do you use reference like when you're drawing quite a lot? Like we're doing like, like a tracing yeah. drawing here. Like are you going to go find find an image, bring it in, and then do it that way? Are you going to draw from memory? Because I think we've done both I'm gonna, versions before. Yeah, I think I think just for, for time's sake, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I love the people who can draw from, like draw a perfect big cat from memory. <laughs> I know I can't. So I think that's what today is going to be. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. I think because I'm just going to try and draw it from memory. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, generally I do draw, do use reference. Um, so could even do like big cat rescue from Tiger King. Joe exotic. Amazing. We could do that. Let's do that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just, uh, I'll freehand it and I'll see what happens. Cool. Big cats. Any more requests? Um, yeah. Banana for scale. Um, <laughs> Deal. Tattoos, swooping eagle tattoos. Jesus. So we were chatting. If you just if you're just joining us, like um, we we're chatting about um, like rabbit holes that you've gone down, like internet rabbit holes that you've gone searching for. Um, roosters that sleep in was a suggestion from Amanda. As oh, well. what? <laughs> sleep. They do that. What does that look like? Eagle. Rooster. You can tell uh, my graffiti handwriting coming out real hard now. <laughs> see it, yes. 
Ooh, ooh. Let's just pretend that never happened. All right, maybe we'll go with that, those four. Cool. If there's one more request, I'll chuck that in, and I will do it like a bit of a, a scenery thing. Cool. But I'll start. Nice, Melanie. Just got an iPad Pro for that reason. Awesome. Are you enjoying it? I hope you are. I've got mine. I was just I was just chatting, chatting to Jess before. Um, I have my iPad, but I don't draw all that much, so it's a glorified music machine at the moment. It's playing our music. It's playing our tunes. Glorified music machine. I don't know where the pen is. We'll put it that way. It's in a drawer somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhere. I use, don't it to read, I use it to read comics at night. Isn't that what, oh, what, what, what kind of comics do you read? Just Marvel, like whatever's on the Marvel app pretty much. Just read everything on there. There's a Marvel app? Yeah, it's so good. I'm so surprised. Like so many people don't know about it. I've spoken about it a couple of times on a, on um, Adobe Live. So we've had illustrators on. Yeah, it's like ten dollars a month or something, and it's like just about every. Well, it's a version of like every popular Marvel app, Marvel comic, basically. The trick is Damn. that it, you... the, the trick is that it's like I think nine months behind the printed release date, so I'm technically oh. behind um, oh, because I think they want you to want to encourage you to still buy you know the buy the print buy the print um so i think that's why the delay but it doesn't affect me really because i'm just like up to whatever i'm up to right it's like i'm watching a yeah. series nine months after everyone else has it doesn't really doesn't really matter oh yeah i only just finished breaking bad <laughs> yes there we go what do you think it's a good show huh man that's perfect yeah i think <laughs> it was perfect it ended it ended the right time and i rated it I'm having trouble with these eyes. I'm just going to draw some some speed dealers. <laughs> I'm surprised you read um, Marvel comics though. Why's that? I don't know. Actually, no, I'm not really surprised anymore. Like, I, in fact, I kind of like it when it now it's no longer someone's like hidden hidden agenda or like hidden like secret. A sec like a secret. Like now it's just yeah. like. Yeah, now it's just like, people are just, I don't know. I like it, I like it. When I was a kid, I just, I was always ashamed of the fact that I was reading comic books. Yeah, it was a bit like that with computer games, I think. Like the big yeah. stig stigma around being a nerd and playing computer games or reading comics or doing any, any cool, anything that's seen as pretty cool now. But yeah, I hear, yeah. I hear what you're saying. Oh, Melanie's got ordered it with the magic keyboard and the Apple Pen. Oh, that's fun. Super fun Damn. devices, I think. Balling. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe I'll start with that and see how we go. Nice. <laughs> the effects of coffee in the morning. <laughs> and you're you're in you're in Melbourne, right? Correct. How, how, that's why how I'm are in you? my house. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Working from home version. This is this is week sixteen of working from home Adobe Live. So we've been in a lot of people's houses. Um, <laughs> ten out of TV ten. Cribs. Yeah, ten out of ten for the plants that you've got going on in the background. They look very healthy. Doing a good job. Um, yeah, thank you. They're, yeah. Um, they're my babies. Nice. They're doing very well. I like to think so. Thank you, though. I, um, I'm very proud of my plants. They've come so far. <laughs> My wife nearly kills all of them. <laughs> it's me that saves them. So that first kind of sketching was, yeah, sketching out just really quickly, trying to get something uh, down. And yeah. Then dropped it, dropped the, put much. it on a different layer, and then dropped the transparency down. And now you're going over it. Correct. More, more carefully. Yeah, I gotta get. Correct. Yeah, I should, probably should have said that, but it just kind of just work. That's cool. That's that's what I'm here for. Give me something to do. I'll just ask ask questions as we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I just stare at you. Um, ask. Uh, feel free to ask some questions in chat as well. You're stuck with my dumb questions. Um, I remember a while ago. I'm going to recycle some of the cool stuff you've you mentioned before in Adobe Live because um, it's probably yeah, quite yeah. a different audience. Um, I remember you telling us a story that when you first started out. Um, you had a trackpad, like, like the just using the trackpad, and I think it was it was either Illustrator yeah. or Photoshop. No, Photoshop, and you would draw your lines. It was was Illustrator, was it? 
You mentioned you draw, mm, you would draw your lines, and then to get the tapered edge, you'd have to cut back in with the eraser to get the line, yeah. and then move on to the next yeah. one, and then draw the line, and then cut back in with the eraser, which is pretty... I remember you yeah. saying, ghetto. it's possible, but <laughs> ghetto. it's possible, you don't recommend it, but it is possible to do it that way, um, which yeah, I thought was I, good dedication. Yeah, yeah, it was um, Adobe's, uh, Adobe's king of Wacom, uh, that introduced me to, to tablets and stuff. I always wanted one, but I could never afford one. Um, and then, yeah, I was just working on Illustrator for ages. Um, I was using the pencil tool and then, um, yeah, just like on the trackpad, just like do a sharp line and then turn that into an object and then uh, tape, uh, grab one of the, the handles or handle, or one of the points, mm. drag it in to make it sharp and then just keep going that same way. It probably took this, exactly what I've done here would probably take half an hour what I did in, yeah. in Illustrator. Incredible. Uh, there was a question from chat. Yeah. Reese is asking, what's the weirdest or craziest thing you've seen while painting on the streets? Um, depends who, depends which Reese that is. Um, <laughs> but I remember when I was like, when I used to do graffiti, I used to see like heaps of people. It was always, I used to come home with a, with a fun story every night. Right. Um, but I think like one of those times, um, I can't tell you what I was doing, but there was like transit officers and stuff and they had sus suspected that I was doing something. And then there was like this other kid that was like covered in um, ink and I just, I used to dress normal. And he was like, he got questioned by the police and he was like, what were you doing? He's like, I was making mulberries. <laughs> <laughs> just like head, head to toe in ink. I just think it exploded on him. Um, <laughs> but like just the way he said it, um, I don't know why that popped into my head then. Um, <laughs> did he get did he did he get away with it? Did they buy No, it? God no. Yeah. No, no, no. He dressed like a he dressed like a lad, so I think it was like pretty obvious that he wasn't making mulberries. Um, Can you um we have we have like an international audience, like um so how would you explain a lad to an international mm, audience? I don't know if that's an Australian thing or does that translate maybe, internationally, think, guys? Do you guys know what a lad is? Oh yes. I forgot we had international audience. Yeah, um, it's always fun. Trying to, trying to think the best way to describe what I think it is. Um, well, maybe okay. just like a. <laughs> um, like you can't make me laugh on doing these lines. <laughs> um, I think it's just like a, a kid who just does graffiti. That's all. Just Pretty like much. very obviously, yeah. That just like dresses in clothes that they can't afford. This coffee's playing a, a big toll on my body today. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, when you when you're doing these lives, do you have like smoothing on or anything like that, or what's your? You know what? I, pro I probably should. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm helping. No. <laughs> smoothing will help. Oh wow! Look at that. That's Look what that. I needed. Ladies and gentlemen, let's t let's turn this light. Let's just get rid of this one. Let's start again. <laughs> No, I didn't have it on, but I'm glad that I did. This is just I'm our way of demonstrating now. features of um, Photoshop on the iPad. Ladies and gentlemen, smoothing is your friend. Um, wow. But yeah, will you, will you often have it? Yeah, so you often have it about 60% or something. It really does help. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what I needed. Wow, okay. Look at that. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Justine's saying, draw a lad. <laughs> Um, okay. have to go back to the squiggly I'll do lines. my best. Uh, it's kind of a lad. Target, uh, Joe Exotic's kind of a, a lad. He's a bit of a way. lad, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tilted hat, um, surprisingly poor, and uh, does bad things. <laughs> Is it Polo? Uh, Is that the... the brand that was like adopted? It's Polo, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was like Polo, um, Nordica. Um, what else? It was like... Oh, Nordica is the big one, isn't it? Yeah, Lacoste, all the, all the fancy brands. Yeah. And I just used to, I used to wear just like Converse or Vans or like Target clothes of like Marvel. Yeah. 
That's what I used to wear. I'm proud of it. Smoothing. That's smoothing coming to the rescue. I know. It's like my Marvel superhero right now. <laughs> yeah, so lad, I think it does, sounds like it is mostly an Australian thing, like that definition of it. Um, and saying lad There's sounds like, like uh, it's multiple definitions even in Australia, yeah, I think it does. Lad to me equals young yeah. fella. Yeah, we use it for like, yeah, it's like a young lad, but I think it's been like kind of co-opted for the graffiti kind of culture. I think like bum, There's bum, like bum bags and like tight clothes and uh, spray the, cans and- Chabs as well. Chabs is the UK version. Chabs the UK version. Okay, cool. There we go. I can't imagine them having an America. Speaking of ghetto, you see my setup from earlier? Your setup? Yeah, my setup on the on the, in the on the couch and stuff. I think my my dog is my desk. Are we going to get a dog cameo hoping... at some at some stage? I hope so. He's passed out. He just sleeps all day. <laughs> just doesn't move. So when you're, I want to talk a little bit about like kind of preparing to do a mural. Um, yep. Do you often sketch, like sketch, sketch things out digitally first or by yeah. hand yeah. or what's your process there? Like what's your first thing that you do? Um, I'll always sketch everything first. Yep. Um, there's like some things I do on the fly, which like backgrounds and like maybe little details or little textures and stuff, but I'll always, I'll always sketch before I do it. Um, generally like I'll take pictures of the wall and then I'll use that as my canvas on online. So like I'll, I'll make a canvas based on that ratio. Um, and then, yeah, like it all, it all depends on like on the wall and stuff. If I can project it or if I like grid it or if I can just freehand it, um, mm. it'll, it'll call for different things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, generally like I'll. I'll take a picture of the wall and use this canvas and then just kind of drop elements in as I need to. And um, maybe I'll pre make or maybe I'll pre draw some stuff um, and then kind of use them as different canvases. Like my style is like constantly adapting and changing at the moment. So yeah, it's kind of, kind of nice to see how I approach each wall. I think each wall is kind of different to be honest. And I guess you got to, combat it with like how do you get at each parts of the wall like you have a really tall kind of vertical wall you got to get up the top somehow if it's something like small and yeah. flat that's a bit different as well yeah like i've got a i've got a wall coming up at the moment that's like i think six or seven meters tall and maybe like 30 meters 30 meters long i think wow it's huge so yeah <laughs> so i'm pain. gonna have that to... i know I don't know. I'm gonna try and look for some sponsorships. <laughs> um, so I can't really like. I think like I can't really freehand a lot of that. I'll probably have to pre like draw a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And it's got some cracks in the walls, so I can use them as grids and stuff like that. Um, but I'm kind of that one. I'm, that, I'm excited about that one because that's a completely different type of wall as well. Um, but I've got pictures of it and I'll use it as my canvas and stuff and yeah, we'll see what happens. That's cool. So you like scout the, scout the location. Do you measure it up or? Yeah, we've got it measured. Um, we've got it measured at the moment and we will, I say we, cause like I'm, I'm clear getting some help with it. Um, uh, we're going to, try like try and book things in like how much paint we need what kind of machinery we need yeah um and that's not that's kind of looking all right that's cool um nice guy. it's nice i get to take my time um so yeah we're just like i think it's nice because we have to take our time with the, the the bigger walls as well 
Um, but it also means that we like get to throw more detail in and and yeah, I don't know. I think it's 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 gonna be a unique one to approach because it's so yeah. big. Yeah, cool. Uh, Amanda was asking, what type of paint do you use, aerosols or brush? Um, I use both, admittedly. Nice. Um, yeah, but I think ninety percent of the time I'll use acrylic brushes. Um, and trade secret, I just use house paint. <laughs> really? Um, I don't really, yeah. I don't really see the point in buying like sixteen dollar tubes like that are that big and then you use <laughs> once. Um, yeah, house paint. House paint's love it. I think it's it's the easiest way to do it. Nice. Um, and it's the cheapest way to do it, especially if you can find a sponsorship. Mm. Um, yeah. How, I, yeah, how easy of the time or I'll hard use. it is to find, you know, to find sponsorship. I imagine that's kind of, kind of hard, right? Like, hard, uh, I'd, hard I'd, I'd say it's pretty hard. Yeah. Mm. It's completely based on portfolio. If I'm being honest, um, mm. I've gotten sponsorship for a couple of walls before. You have to kind of show them the sketches and the stuff and make sure it appeals with their brand the most. And, um, but yeah, it's kind of based on portfolio, like how much they trust you with their brand as well. So it's almost like a collaboration in a way because you're going to be representing their brand if they want it, but they have to get something out of it as well. Like video content or yeah, whatever. I don't know. It's probably different every time, right? Yeah, completely. Like I've gotten stuff before. I've gotten like aerosol um, sponsorships before, which um, which all they wanted in return was like video, which is kind of nice. Mm. And they got to see themselves on a nice big brewery. So yeah, yeah, nice. Manly saying yeah, house paint for sure. Another house paint. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and Amanda, Amanda says she's heard of the house paint thing too. So there you go. It is a thing. I'm learning. I'm learning stuff. That's cool. You didn't um, know that? I didn't know. No, I didn't know it was house paint. I thought it was always like yeah, like iron lac and things like that. I always just kind of assume people would use whatever the yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'm glad that I brought some light into your life, mate. I love it. Um, never painted a wall in my life. Um, <laughs> yeah, super cool. Um, I feel like he needs like a Joe Exotic mullet. What do you yeah. reckon? Is that possible? <laughs> I, I think so. I think yeah. it's definitely gonna have to happen. Amazing. Apparently they're making a movie about him with Nick Cage. With Nick Cage? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Joe Exotic. <laughs> <laughs> he just like has his face off or something. Mm -hmm. He's looking for the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> it's, it's hidden in... Uh, underneath one of the cat enclosures. Yeah. <laughs> Would you believe this out here hidden? <laughs> so do you get help, uh, just thinking back to the wall, do you get help yeah. painting them as well? Kind of know the answer to that question, but yeah, like a wall like that, like That's would, okay. personally, would personally it, know it, it would take a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah, it depends. Um, depends how tight how tight the turnaround has to be and how much work I've gone on at the moment. Mm -hmm. So like I'm, I'm more than happy. And to be honest, I actually like do it. I like kind of passing on knowledge and stuff to people who want to know it. Mm -hmm. Um, so like anyone who wants to put their hand up and stuff and like help me out with the walls, like it's all paid for. Um, and I kind of apprentice in a way, I don't know. I've, I've got, I've got like two people at the moment who, who I trust enough to help me on the walls. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's always a blessing because it's almost just like I can take back, I can take a second to like email or whatever. Um, yeah. And it's just like a second pair of hands, obviously. Um, but it depends. It depends on like the size and how, how tight the turnaround is. Yeah. But I think maybe 50% of the time I, I get ahead. Um, and that's just out of the fact that it's just got, I've got so, like lately I've got so much to turn around. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah, definitely. Um, but I think there's something, there's something really rewarding about doing a wall yourself. But in saying that, I think the ego can get it, get, get the most of me sometimes. Like, oh yeah, I did that all by myself. I was like, yeah, but you should be doing that already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
A lot of love for the Nick Cage idea. Nick Cage and Joe Exotic. It's they wanted cool. they wanted David Spade to play Joe Exotic. Like Joe Dirt. Oh, like Joe Dirt. That's what I was thinking of, yeah. I was like, hasn't he played yeah. a role that's kind of, kind of similar? Yeah. It's the sequel. It's his, it's his son. That's uh, kind of a rat so far. Nice. Turn that off. Now I can go in and maybe color this puppy. Uh, orange. Where's orange? Yeah. So you're using the iPad Pro. I don't know if we actually mentioned that before, but that's what you're yeah. using, isn't it? Yeah. Um, correct the mundo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, iPad Pro. Um, works well for me. And I think it's nice as well because I don't have to lug around a big computer all the time. Yeah. Big computer and tablet. Like I used to go, I used to, when I used to go on holiday, I used to bring my Wacom and my tablet, uh, my computer everywhere. Oh, right. And there was just something like really, yeah, there was just something really nice about just drawing when you're on holiday. Mm. Um, my wife didn't think so, but I still, I still liked <laughs> it. Um, and yeah, like for me, it's, it's so much easier because it's like, it's just a smart computer in one thing. You know yeah, what I mean? Totally. So yeah. it's so much easier to take around. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it. Nice. Um, there's a question from chat. Uh, Mario is asking, what advice would you give to your old self who just started digital illustration? That's a, that's a great question. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Uh, just keep at it. Like I think something I always tell people who ask, to be honest, is like just do something every day and just like put it out there regardless. Like I get I get so much I get imposter syndrome like every single day just because I don't I don't really like I don't really know that I I, I always judge myself mm. like really badly. Mm. So I think like the worst thing you can do is care what people judge like think about you so that's why I like I like putting it out there in the world because you've already spent so much time judging yourself like why let anyone else do it right does that make sense yeah um, and then I think from there um, yeah just do something every single day put it out in the world and then yeah mm. just like keep keep practicing like keep like keep drawing I mean, that's something I kind of learned myself is just like, um, just to keep, keep active and keep, put your pen, keep your tool sharpened in a way. And, um, yeah, that's good I think advice. like for me as well, like, yeah, I think for me as well, like I, when I, when I started out, I used to look at what other people were doing and like, Oh, I, li I like the way that looks I, like, and they're, they're successful. I'm going to try and like, I'm gonna try and draw like them, right? And like you do, like everyone does that, which is fine. But I think like I never released it, I never tried to release it. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna look at someone and compare yourself and like try and draw like them, then um, it's important that you just don't look at them forever. Like if you want to look at someone as inspiration, bring it up, put it down, and then draw. Like draw from memory mm -hmm. in a way. That way you get a lot more of your own stuff in. Like it, I think for me, it annoyed me when I kept finding myself copying people from like, from line to line. Yeah. Like, oh, they did this line like this, or they made this person look like this. Um, and yeah, I think it's important to just have elements of your own style in there and just not become carbon copies. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah. Nice. Um, but yeah, I think the, the main thing is just do something every single day. Yeah, and so do you think like doing it's, something and then moving on to the next thing is important as well? Like rather than yeah, kind of trying to spend I, a long, really long time, you know, I mean, you know, give or take. But totally. Yeah, like doing a lot no. and focusing on frequency is good when you're starting out? I think so, yeah. Um, I think for me, like I've got, like I'm just going to bring it bring it all out now. I've got, like, I've got pretty bad ADHD. So like I have to keep doing something. Like I, my, my attention span is so bad. <laughs> Hence why right. I keep stop drawing to, to talk to you. Um, 
so it's so bad that point where I, I have to um I have to keep doing something. I can't sit on something forever. Right. And like, if if I was to sit on drawings for like you know uh, weeks on end, I'd get bored and I'd probably stop stop enjoying what I'm doing. Right. Um. So I think it's important that if you're starting out, if you especially want to be a digital illustrator or like a commercial illustrator, it's important to um. To just keep doing something every day, every day, because you get used to doing that, um, like just the quick in and out type thing. Mm. I guess yeah. I don't know. It helps you balance with with clients in a way. I guess I don't know. Yeah, totally. I put that on the wrong layer. That's right. And um, we've got, I think, like seven minutes until Q and A. I've got a bunch of questions in here as well, so. And then we can take a break. It goes super quick, right? Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Should learn from last time. <laughs> you never learn, Jesse. You never learn. <laughs> um, where does Jezri come from? J E S W R I. Um, that's how I'm familiar with your work. Like online. Yeah. I think I think we brought it up before. We were joking about it. Like if you search your name, like your SEO is off the charts. Like. It's just yeah. all your work, like in Google, yeah. J-E-S-W-R-I is just, it's like nothing but your work. And it's definitely uh-huh. like what I've seen like online of your work. So where did that, where did that come from? Um, well, admittedly it came from like when Instagram first came out and you do, I just needed a username like straight away. Um, I was always like, my name is Jesse Wright. I think that's no secret. Um, and for me, like I wanted just a quick punchy username on Instagram and yeah. it just like, I kept posting art and stuff on it. Um, and it just, so it just kind of took over. That was my, my artist name. So yeah, it's kind of short for, for Jesse, right. Um, but I wanted to keep it punchy and I just like, I figured that it's kind of unique. Um, I look at musicians and stuff like, um, like Andre 3000 and Diplo and people have like unique names. And I think there was something just really important about having something unique. Yeah. Um, like quick, punchy and unique, I guess. So yeah, I think that's kind of where it came from. It's just like the punchiness and Instagram. Yeah. Just having like, cause I, I think I, I think it hit me after a while that, um, that it was important to have something that's going to be unique for a while. Mm. Um, so I just bought all the domains and stuff with it. Yes. And just, hard, yeah, kind of like harder to do, harder to do these days. I know. I've been trying to, I've been sitting on, I've been waiting till google.com ends, like their, <laughs> their thing ends so I can buy google.com. <laughs> I don't know. For me, it makes sense. Might be I do it a lot though. Might be some other people watching that. I don't care. It's funny. I'm an, I'm monopolized the internet in a way. I try to. I buy domains for things that, like, I've got ideas for, like down the track, right. that will come out later. Punch! Damn it! Stop punching! Oh, wrong tool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're at Q and A, um, yeah. which is like pretty amazing timing because that's looking awesome. We're at Q and A right now. Yeah, if you're up for it. Don't. I'm up for it. Nice. So I'm just because I'm just going to bring us up big, and we'll answer a couple of questions, and we'll jump back into the. Q and A. I love it. That's awesome. So we'll jump up um, to our our cameras again. So here we are. So we, there was a couple of questions that came through kind of towards the end. I thought we'd chat about. Um, Melanie was asking, "Did you go to school to be an artist?" I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> um, Next yeah, question. Yeah. So not not. The, yeah, uh, I left in in what we call kindergarten. I was home to school. No. Um, yeah, I, I did. I went to school, but I didn't go for school for art. I went to I did art through all, all throughout like uh, high school and stuff. Yeah, which kind of led me to do it. Um, I went to Billy Blue Design College, which right. is kind of art, but not really. I think it's more like on the tools. Um, so uh, yeah, short answer no. Long answer yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's like a course that I'm pretty familiar with. That course, it's like a course around communication design like graphic more, more around kind of graphic yeah. design somewhere somewhere between yeah almost almost uni but like a smaller smaller kind of environment yeah more it, is, it is it is communication design yeah it's pretty much what it is but yeah that's that's what i went to cool um who is your first inspiration to create art 
Um, my mom. Your mom? Yeah, my mom. Um, my mom was an art teacher. So I used to go to all her art classes and stuff um, at school. And then, like, we used to drive home, like, past, like, dozens and dozens of murals along the way. So my mum would always, like, point out murals, like, oh, look at that one. That's of, like, Boba Fett. And, right. like, that was in Lewisham. I think that's one still there, too. Um, so she used to, point, used to point out murals. We used to talk murals when I was, like, four or five. And oh, wow. So up to, just up till, up around up till, it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. My, I think my mum is my earliest inspiration. I used to like, we used to draw with each other and stuff, so. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's what a great way to grow up. Um, so another question, uh, what do you do now that brings you inspiration? And I'll throw in the caveat of like, yeah, working from home, like where, what are you doing to, to find inspiration, at, particularly at the moment? Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like I, I go on these like, Pretty much the topic of this this um, illustration thing is that yeah I, I go on these huge rabbit holes like if I feel ever that I'm lacking in inspiration um, I'll just like I'll stop working and go down a rabbit hole until I feel like working again mm. and then I'll come out thinking like oh that was weird I just I found out where Morgan Freeman grew up cool <laughs> <laughs> let's learn everything about Morgan Freeman yeah um, but I think to be honest I just kind of I always, I, I really rarely find myself lacking inspiration. Uh, so I know that sounds like a douchey thing to say, but I really, I don't. I'm always listening to things that inspire me, like music. Um, I'm always watching movies in the background. Um, I think that's pretty much, like my, my inspiration is pop culture. My whole style is pop culture. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm never really lacking in, in inspiration, but when I do, it's, it's rabbit holes. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, cool, 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 uh, So, um, from one ADHD creative to another, how do you manage balance versus excitement in your work? And how does this influence your <laughs> practice? I'm always excited by my work, to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that's important, though. I think that, that, I think that is the balance. If you're not excited by it, then it kind of... It's just work, and then I think yeah. I'm lucky enough to know, like, lucky enough to do something that doesn't really feel like work in a way. Um, but I think, and more of a, more of like a, a real balance question. I think it's you got you have to do one of those like you know one for them, one for me type things. Like, I'll get the occasional job where it's like, it's just so dull. Like, right. I probably won't post about it, but it's just so dull. And I'll um, I'll I'll make sure to, to balance it with something that's personal. Like I'll go out and do like a personal canvas. I'll go and do that that wall that we showed earlier. That was mm. that like that big portrait of me. Like you know what I mean? I think that's where I find balance is one for them, one for me. But <laughs> yeah, nice. I like that. Um, last question, and we'll jump back into it. Um, do you have any like go-to movies to, or to listen to or genre even? Like, is there like a particular genre? And there was a question about music as well, so I'll bunch a bunch of the questions in together. Is there like a bunch genre of music or TV shows or anything like that that um, you might go are your go-to's while you're trying to be creative or trying to do work? Um, oh, while well, I'm trying to do work. Um, um, I think like for me, I need when I'm doing work, it's always something that has to be fairly easy. Like it can be distracting, but I think it just has to be easy to watch that doesn't really involve you like paying attention to the story or or like subtitles or anything like that. So I think something for the background is always good. For, like maybe Fresh Prince of Bel Air is always great. Um, maybe like early Simpsons episodes. Um, any Adam Sandler movie because. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, um, or like animal documentaries. They're always fun as well. Yeah. Um, but music. Music is cool because music never really distracts me. Um, I always put on music that is either like cr super creative for me, like um, like 90s hip hop or anything that's kind of got that upbeat, like 808 to it. Mm -hmm. um, or... If it's like to get me out of a bit of a funk, like I'll listen to like happy, chappy, like music, like ABBA or 
Yeah. Or like uh, Freddie Mercury or Elton John, like that type of stuff where it's like mm. super flamboyant and happy and positive and whatever. Super fun. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yeah, spice Girls. <laughs> spice Girls. <laughs> Sporty Spice. Love it. Um, all right, cool. Well, maybe we'll jump into we'll jump into part two, and uh, you guys can still ask questions as we're going along, of course. But um, that is the end of our official Q and A portion for, Damn. for today. Um, just a quick shout out to yeah, just like um, I think it's really interesting when people talk about like mental health, like on here, like things like mm. ADHD, Me too. Um, mm. because often you'll find someone mentions it, like you you mentioned it, and then a lot of people in chat are saying, "Hey, me too," like raising my hand as well. Um, I think that's it's awesome. really, I think it's really great to, to talk about. So um, that's super cool. And thanks for the questions around that. And thank thank you for bringing it up because I think it's really cool to talk about here. Oh man, my pleasure. Honestly, like I think yeah, it needs to be more more um, more brought into light. I guess is probably a, a, yeah. a terrible way of looking at it. But um, I think it just needs to be accepted. Like I say it quite occasionally that um, I don't see like my mental health is being like a weight. Right. I always see it as like, as a bonus. So it's like, well, my ADHD could be viewed as like, oh, but you need like, you need to calm down or something. But also I see it as maybe I can juggle more than three things at once. Yeah. Um, yeah I think totally. there's that. I was going to say, um, yeah, like I, I know quite a lot of creatives either, either publicly or, or privately as well, like um, struggle with some of that stuff and, um, it yeah. seemed to be like quite a bit of a turn towards like, yeah, as sort of, as you were saying, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but like more using it, well, maybe it's like more of a superpower than it is this like thing holding me back. Correct. Um, yeah, which I think is just 100%. such a, such a great way to, to look at it. Should have my own Ted talk. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> this, this is it. We'll just, we'll just send it off. Yeah, this exactly. Is, Let's do this it. Is, this is it. Um, I think they're eight minutes. I think that's how quickly most Ted, Ted talks are. It's very short. Yeah. That's a very short amount of time to get an idea across. I know. If you think about it, like we've been we've been chatting for like four hours now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it feels to you? Has it been that long? No. No. Good. That's super easy chatting to you. <laughs> Speaking of timing, we've got about half an hour left. So that's what we've got got left Sick. today um, with our with our illustration. Should we move on to Another one of the suggestions that we had. Did you want to pick one of the ones you wrote? I think you wrote four down. So I did. I did. Let's do it. So it's dealer's um, choice. I think you get to choose. Dealer's choice. Yeah. Okay. Oops, I masked that. I shouldn't have masked that. Um, how do I turn the eyeball? There we go. Eyeball. 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 No. Eyeball. 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 Cool. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, eyeball one more time. Cool. What to draw? To draw. I think we had, uh, what did we have here before? Got some there. Maybe I'll include some of them in the new one. Nice. Um, hmm. Maybe you could draw a rooster could be fun. It was, a, it was like a sleeping rooster as well, so. Sleeping rooster. <laughs> I dropped my, dropped my phone as reference, so I think I'd be lucky if I can find anything. Yeah, let's draw a rooster. Let's do it. Nice. Uh, all right. Eyeball. Eyeball. Where's the eyeball? I keep saying eyeball because that's the, the way to turn this off. And delete. The... We were chatting about rabbit holes, we rabbit holes before, and uh, Melanie just said TikTok has become a rabbit hole for me. Oddly enough, uh, um, and then Johanna asked, "Oh, that's a question." Well, you may have just answered the next question. Would you ever join TikTok? <laughs> I'm on TikTok only because I wanted to hog the username. I'm not going to ever post anything. And if I do, it's going to be like videos of my dog. Uh, I think I deleted the app after I found out it was like a Chinese spy malware or something like that. So I'm big into conspiracy theories, but not in like a really Karen type way. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely a, a um, byproduct of... Uh, being on the internet and going down rabbit holes, right? Like, is oh, a, lot yeah. that, a lot of that stuff is out there. I like I like going to to um to when we could go out to pubs. I used to like going out to pubs and stuff and convincing people I was a flat earther. <laughs> so wow. I thought that was quite fun, <laughs> and like lizard people and stuff is always good to to com try and convince people about. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, hey, you did some. Do you do a lot of work with Young Henrys, or do you just enjoy enjoy that beer? Because I see a lot of your work with that, or have they like sponsored events for you? Um, yeah, both. I've done heaps of work with Pirate Life and Young Henrys over the over the couple of years. I think like beer companies just naturally draw themselves to me. Um, <laughs> Why do you suppose that but, is? Because <laughs> I'm a drunk man. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Uh, I think it's just because I. I have this like carefree attitude about my stuff. Like right. I'm fairly like real and down to earth, I guess. Um, so yeah, nice. but to answer your question, yeah, um, I have done work with with them before. Um, it's been a while, but yeah, that's my favorite beer. Which one do you like the most? The Young Henry's New Towner. Yeah, the new sounds good. But every time I drink beer, it makes my nose like, um, makes my nose, oh, my sinuses inflamed, which is one of the nerdiest things anyone will ever say. Right. So you get like the red nose, yeah. like a comic, like a comic character, like if someone was drawing something um, with a red nose. No, nah, not a, not a red nose, not a red nose. I just I sound, I sound like a weasel. Just like I just like mil, I probably sound like Millhouse. I think whenever I drink like too much beer. I'm just picturing being in a pub and having like someone come up. Talking like Millhouse, trying to convince me of a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. All I have to do is enter my name. <laughs> Thrill House. Amazing. Thrill House. Yeah. Thrill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think like I think Newtown is probably the only beer that I can drink that doesn't actually make my nose um, go cuckoo. Good bird reference as we're drawing a bird. Um, we should get back to chatting a little bit about process while we can. It's um, always fun chatting with you. We, we go down our own rabbit holes. Um, oh, so, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, so again, just in terms of process, sketching things out really quickly um, and then coming Super back quickly, over yeah. it with, like, with smooth lines. And there was a question before. It always comes up, so I'll just answer it first. But, yeah, you're not using any mm -hmm. like custom brushes or anything like that, just a normal no, kind of round tip stand up yeah brush with a bit um, of a taper they, a little bit of pressure for, for proof evidence then there we go i bumped the smoothing up this time so i can actually do this properly <laughs> don't judge me <laughs> i'm new to this it's my first day <laughs> speaking of which we are back we are going to do another live stream as well same time same channel. Yeah. Uh, this time next week as well. Are we going to do an interactive session? We were talking about doing a couple of different things. Depends if people are liking this one or not. We can do something that's a little bit different, but I'm totally down to do another interactive one. What do you think? Maybe Jack? maybe this could be maybe this could be a nice way of um, getting people to get their ideas together. Let's get a crowdsource. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can deposit at this PayPal. <laughs> and start a GoFundMe. <laughs> Surprisingly, that I think that um that type that puma or whatever I drew before that took way longer than I normally do. So I think it's just like me chatting. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Exactly. It's um lots of questions over the top while we're going. That's what it always makes it go so fast, as well. Like, yeah. Wow, how did it? How did it go so fast? It's because. I've asked you like a hundred questions at the same time. This week on how did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> how did, how did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. Um, so uh, Johanna tells me that you're on Twitch. Have you been streaming? Oh yeah. Have you been streaming your process? Do you want to chat about that a bit? Twitch is fun. I love Twitch. Um, for me, like I think Twitch is really, really cool because um, it like. Like I said, I grew up as a as a massive nerd. So for me to like to relate with people that are just already there in one safe platform, it's sick. Mm. I love it. It's like going to comic con conventions, but like online. Um, so I really like Twitch for like my gaming and for like my live art. So sometimes I'll stream my murals whenever I'm on a mural, and you can like chat. They can tune in and like ask me questions. Pretty much, pretty much like this, except yeah, it's like for mural work. Mm. Um, and then I think like sometimes I'll 
I'll do like interactive drawing like this as well. So this is another, this is another way to catch me doing this. Um, and they'll have like timelines and stuff like you can book in, not book in, like you can see when I'm going to do it or not. Um, but yeah, I won't be selling bath water on that if anyone's expecting that. <laughs> no candles. I've done that before. No, <laughs> yeah, no, sir. Um, but yeah, Twitch is fun because I think it's another, it's pretty much like this. It's exactly like this. Um, you get to tune in and see me and my element do things that, um, do discussing things for money. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How does it work with the, the mural? Like, do you, will you set like your phone or, or a camera up or something and you just kind of let yeah. it roll while you're just painting in the background or is that kind of, so there's like, yeah, there's like programs I have to run in the background and stuff, but yeah, essentially it's just a camera on me painting a mural. Um, and then you can see it from certain certain perspective and stuff. I think it's kind of cool because a lot of times that um, you just see a mural, like McDonald's, I think murals are like McDonald's. You can you never really see one go up. You just they just appear. <laughs> so it's true. have you ever noticed that you never see a McDonald's getting built? Um, Could be true. So they're just flat packed and pop up open and then they're there. I, IKEA McDonald's. <laughs> um, so I think for me, like, I think it's a good way of, yeah, seeing, seeing me on murals because nobody really ever um, gets, gets that opportunity to see people mm. on murals. So, True. yeah. I think it's just nice, like, for me, I, I treat, I kind of treat Twitch as, like, as nice background music. Like, mm. if you're, Twitch is actually, you know what? If people ever want to just draw to random shit when they need something to put on the background, that's what they can do. They can put put me on just drawing or painting a mural. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I think pretty happy with that one. Nice. Pretty like quickly. Festus is saying this rooster looks alarmingly like me, and Melanie's saying it looks a bit like Jezri. There we go. Hey. A lot of people do not. seeing themselves in roosters. <laughs> Are you saying I look tired? <laughs> just my just my bags, man. I got no sleep. Banana proximity. Yep, I'm too much on, um, too much potassium. <laughs> uh, Something we haven't spoken about very much is like color, color in your work. We spoke about using house paints um, for me. Yeah, yes. But like digitally, do you have like any go-to like color palettes or anything like that? Or do you just eyeball it and just kind of pick whatever color is working for you? Uh, I do, I do kind of eyeball it in a way. Um, like I'll match, I'll match whatever I can. Like if it's like specific colors, then I'll, I'll match it. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the time, yeah, I just, I just eyeball it and that, um, it's kind of okay for me cause I'm in that kind of nice realm where I don't really have to match colors that often. Right. And, um, but when I do pick colors, I just generally pick like muted, um, earthy colors, I think. Like for my own stuff. Mm. What about if there's like a brand, like we're talking about brands with murals and stuff, and they're like, yeah, cool. Like, yeah. Um, like they might have their own specific color. So like, Correct, how, does yeah. that, how does that work with like walls and everything? You have to think about like the, the like getting the Pantone color, like getting an accurate, trying to match it with like Duolux's uh, kitchen oh, paint yeah. or how's that work? That's the problem as well is it like, you can get it right a thousand times, but you have to leave it up to the Bunnings professionals, professionals, like those kids on, on school holiday that like, that is the right red. Is it though? Cause I know it's not. Trust me, it will dry that way. All right. And then it doesn't. Um, so a lot of times you just kind of have to, yeah, in a way, just match it by your eye. Yeah. Um, so like I'll take, I've got like a whole, I went to Bunnings one day and like picked up a whole bunch of um, like those sample ones. It's like picked them all off the wall and I keep that at, 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 the, uh, at the studio. Yeah. And um, I will like, I'll match that on my computer. I've got, I've got a retina that will like stay true to CMYK values. Right. So you've, um, cal you've calibrated have you calibrated your monitor that way? Is that what's happened? Yeah. 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 So the, yeah, the MacBook retinas, you can do that on. Um, 
and that kind of that helps me I guess just like um, take those shortcuts so I don't actually have to go to Bunnings all the time and like try and match it so I can just match it at my desk um, look at this rooster bad boy um, keep pressing the wrong button and yeah, I think like it's kind of it's kind of easy for me because I can um, just match everything from my desk and stuff, and not really trust the the quote unquote professionals of Bunnings. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. pretty much it. Um, got a qu another question around color. Like, do you have any palettes ready to go, or does it change from project to project? Um. Yeah, I have like a, like for me, it's kind of nice. So if like anyone who looks at my style, it's generally black and white and then one additional color. So like for the commercial stuff, I'll let the client pick that one additional color and I'll break that into like two different tones. Um, and then ignore that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and then I... But I think for like for my for my private stuff, I, I generally just rely on this gold at the moment. Like I'm kind of going through a bit of a phase, like most artists do. Um, this is my gold phase. So people will look at this like ten years from now when I'm a famous rock star and walking red carpets, and like, oh, that was his, that was Jess Rye's uh, gold phase. I don't know, <laughs> like Picasso and his phases. Yeah, yeah. At least I think that highly of myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but. No, I, I generally do black and white with an additional color. So I'm kind of fortunate enough to not have to rely on on um, on colors as much. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think like other people might have a better answer to that question, but mine's always mine's mine's strategically black and white for that reason. So I don't actually have mm. to to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, and um. How just letting everyone know we've got like a bit left, about 15 minutes left. So if there are any questions, now is your chance. Um, there's a question from Johanna. How much does the surface you're painting on impact the paint? Huge. Oh man. Yeah. Huge. I, I hate painting on brickwork, like raw brick. Any Anything stippled is, is tough. It's so dumb. I hate painting on anything stippled because it just kind of, um, is that it just ruins. Yeah, like a stipple texture, like a pimply type of um, texture as opposed to like the stipple and satin. So like satin is always smooth and right. Yeah. So it, do, if it definitely does. It, it, it impacts it greatly. Mm. Um, but my preference is always like plastered, primed, ready walls that don't have any <laughs> like anti-graffiti on it that I'll find out a bit later. they find out a little bit later. Right. <laughs> I'm just freestyling this now. My wife's family has decided to start a new group chat. <laughs> the second I'm on this. Right now. Awesome. Right now. Tiger's family group. There's a, there's a, there's a new one every week. <laughs> um, question from chat again. Do you have, uh, do you have to put a base coat on first or, um, directly onto the brick? Yeah, yeah. You, I always, I always prime it. So depends what color, uh, depends what color the wall is. But like, I'll hit it with a gray primer first, like a mid-tone gray, mm. um, and then I'll blast it with like two layers of white. If that's like a pretty ugly wall. Mm. Um, other than that, yeah. Like I always prime stuff, and I always prime it with like one of the colors that I'll be using. So like, as you can tell, white's always been my canvas and I will, um, yeah, I'll use the same white that I'll be going over with later. So I don't actually have to cut back in as hard. So I've, I've got like a, a nice process for my murals. Like I always do like color first and then black over the top later then finish off with the white, mm. um, which I found a lot of people don't do as often, but yeah. It's nice for me. Where's this Prince? Let's go back to Prince. 
Boom. There he is. <laughs> there was this was before I realized that there was the smoothing wasn't on as well. <laughs> it makes quite a big difference, doesn't it? Huge. 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 Huge difference. Have you, ever been have you ever been painting a um, painting a legal wall and people have come up to you and like yelled at you or anything like that? Oh, all the time. Yeah, I got <laughs> yelled at by, I got yelled at cops last week. Um, by cops, by police. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Harassing me. Um, no, I get I get yelled at sometimes. Like I just put my headphones on to be honest. Like I treat it as like an art practice. Like I don't really <laughs> treat myself as a as a labourer. I think right. when you start treating yourself as a labor, it's when you start making mistakes and like people start, yeah, like yelling weird stuff at you. Um, but yeah, I get yelled at a little bit, mostly by like mature age women, just like asking, asking for my, like my number and stuff. Right. But they've got their kids with them as well, which is always awkward. And it happens more times than I, that. Like that wasn't a joke. That happens a lot. Really? Wow. It's so uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable. Just getting like cat cold. Um, another question from chat. Uh, what led to the monochromatic style of your work? I really dig how well you use simple two color schemes with great balance. Oh, thanks so much. Um, so when I was a when I was a kid, some of my favorite comic books were by Frank Miller. Oh, right. um, yeah. So I always like yeah. So like, if you ever seen Sin, Sin City, City. Uh, yeah, Sin City is like probably a really good example. And I love how like Frank Miller introduces one color into that, which is what I've only started mm -hmm. doing recently. Mm -hmm. um, but I look at the people. I look at the people that I've always looked up to, like Mike Giant. Um, and um, Jimbo Phillips, and there's like elements of like Dale Bajeni in my work, which I can't deny because he's awesome. And um, not anymore though. I mean, I don't come. Oh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dale. Dale, um, Dale Bajeni, obviously regular here on on Adobe Live. Very regular. Yeah. Yeah. Dale, like I said before, Dale was the one that introduced me to drawing on um, drawing on tablets. So um, there's a lot of love for him. Um, and so I look at people that like did it really well before me. And I think, like I said before, I've stopped looking at their stuff and now I kind of tried to create my own wave with it. Um, but yeah, I think like what the reason why I do it is, um, is because it's just, I like, it's what I like looking at. I feel like, um, black and white is truthfully a lot harder than a lot of realism and a lot of like um, a lot of full color stuff is because I think there's so much so much more room for error in black and white if I don't make this look like prints right now then it's just not gonna look like prints period right. like there's no there's no hiding with black and white no nah, because like you ever go to like those um cut like those cartoonists in the street um, so many times it just doesn't look like you. You just like have to pay the money. Like, oh yeah, thank you. I guess so. Like, <laughs> hey, you like roller skates? I don't know. No, I don't. Hey, yeah. Everybody <laughs> likes roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, I love The Simpsons. <laughs> Get them, boys. Um. Um, so yeah, sorry, just really like quickly, just in chat. Yeah. Um, so Millie was asking, do we have another session tomorrow? We do have another Adobe Live tomorrow, but we're focusing on 3D tomorrow with Alwyn Hunt. Um, but next time we've got Jesse back is the same time uh, this time next week. So yeah. So we will be back. Hey. Single mom's gonna go make some din din. Awesome. Um, yeah. So we will be back next week with Jesse for those that are wondering. <laughs> make some din dins. <laughs> Oh man. Next week I won't have as much coffee either and I'll be prepared with this brush. Din dins.
That's so good. Um, so right now I'm just like blocking out the hair to make it easy for myself. And you just fill that, you're planning to fill that in with a like, yeah, yeah. black color. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Fill, I should say, not color. We just, <laughs> we just, we just spoke so much about black and white. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's fine. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. <laughs> or will I? No, I won't. <laughs> We're both taken. It's always hard like this part where I can't see what's going on. What do you mean you can't see what's going on? Oh, like with the, like darker shadows that just don't translate that well. Studio light's so hard to, to draw in. Right. Like when pictures are taken in studio light. Right. Is it like what you mean when, when, it's properly, when it's properly lit, like kind of lit from behind or, or above or like a When, when you get like two different light, two different, two different light sources. Right. So like there's a light source here, which is coming from this way. Yeah. And then there's also a light source here. Right. Like a soft, really soft light. Yeah. Mm. I think. Or at least that's what my eyes are telling me. Yeah. Is that harder because it's like less, less pronounced? Like you, it's much harder to kind of see the shadow because of the yeah. way you know, the original kind of photo or reference shot is shot. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Mm. Um, with like one light source, you can, it's a lot easier for black work. So like, like I said, we for with like Frank Miller, um, a lot of these stuff is like super harsh lines. Yeah. And sorry, harsh lighting. So harsh lighting. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot easier to like kind of really do your best work in one, one light source. Mm. How long we got chief? Uh, about five minutes left. A perfect. Nice. Enough time for me to have another banana. Oh, I ate both my bananas. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> After the stream, you can get many bananas. Oh yeah. I like, I like that idea. Nice. Let's go down to, go down to Woolies. Hit him up. What are you doing the rest of today? Uh, mostly just preparing for the, the rest of the streams this week. We're working on a couple of uh, other online projects uh, that I nice. don't, don't know if I'm allowed to talk about, so I won't. Um, but yeah, working on some big big events with um, some fun people. Dope. Yeah. A lot of work in the back. A lot of work in the background with production. A lot of, you say bucket? A lot of emails and uh, and spreadsheets. It's not very glamorous. This is the best part. This is definitely the best part of my job. Hey, I hate emails, man. <laughs> emails are so distracting. I spend so much of my time just on emails. It's crazy. We all do, right? Like it's uh, just part part of it. But yeah, Does emails, and, emails and spreadsheets is like ninety percent. I had to bring someone on board to help me out with my emails. It's too too much sometimes. Mm. Where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. Turn, 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 turn. I just find it really hard not to think about Dave Chappelle when I, when I see people. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Darkness. There he is. He's waking up. Yeah. There he is. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's bring this up. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Tired boy. Oh, Why is he so sleepy? Is that just his normal mode? Maybe. He's like a big sloth, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, he just sleeps all day and parties all night. Oh man, rock star. He's like a big chunk right now. He's got, always gets like a big sleep belly. We all do at the moment. It's difficult to exercise at the moment. <laughs> we're, all, we're all stuck at home, so I'm feel, I feel ya. <laughs> I'm trying to convince him to go out and get a job, but... <laughs> It's not that it's, it's, it's a difficult job market out there. That's for sure. Oh, no, I know. Good buddy. No, no doesn't like <laughs> not interested. <laughs> doesn't like that. Either. Oh, this has been, this has been no. awesome, man. And, and thank you everybody. Um, in chat promise, promise you doggo. And we got doggo. Um, so stick around. I'm going to show you our schedule, what we've got coming up this week in case you missed it at the beginning. Um, 
but definitely stick around in like nine minutes. Andrew Hockradell is going to be um, doing the creative challenge. It's super awesome. We'll see you in chat for that. Um, he is a legend, so it, don't go anywhere. Um, this is our schedule for this week. Um, Jesse's going to be back this same time next week. So uh, whatever time this was an hour and a half ago for you guys, it'll be similar time next week. Uh, on Wednesday, so tomorrow, uh, we have our final session of Getting Started in 3D with Alwyn Hunt. That's been a four-part series. If you've ever wanted to get into 3D, you can start from the very beginning of that and come through our whole journey with us. We learned so much stuff. It's been incredible. I've learned a lot. Um, so join us for that last live stream. Uh, also at 10.30. Yeah, and then on Thursday, we have Yori Napati coming back. Um, more illustration if you enjoyed today. You'll absolutely love that as well. Uh, and then on Friday, photo manipulation with Ramesh. Um, Hare Krishna Sammy, and uh, that's always lots of fun to have Ramesh on. We learn so much about photo manipulation. Heaps on this week, super pumped. Um, look, I love this dog vision. <laughs> so, so cool. Um, what did you say about me? What did you say? Um, that's Going awesome. back to bed. That's awesome. Back to bed, buddy. You did, you did your work for the day. He did a whole live stream all by himself. Incredible stuff. Um, but Jesse, thank you so much. It's been awesome. It's great hanging out with you. I'm really looking forward to next week. Yeah, man, me too, me too. Thank you so much. I'm awesome. so stoked. Awesome, guys. Well, yeah, stick around. Uh, we'll see you uh, in a couple of minutes um, with Andrew Hockerdell and Illustrator Creative Challenge. See you, Jesse. Bye.